I'm Gianni Football, and Gianni Game Day Episode 2 will be live from SDCCU Stadium in San Diego, California to watch number 23 Arizona State battle San Diego State. Are you ready? Because here comes the theme song. Gianni Game Day. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Gianni Football, and please follow my Instagram page, at Gianni Football. Thanks. Here's a new segment called Keys and Questions. I'll pose a few questions about the game, give some keys and answers, and see how those answers turned out at the end of the game. The first question is, can SDSU keep ASU honest through the air? With Christian Chapman out, the starting quarterback for SDSU with a uh, left knee injury, uh, junior quarterback Ryan Agnew will be making his first collegiate start. So, no, I don't think that San Diego State can keep ASU honest through the air. Um, they're going to make some plays through the air, but I don't think they're going to make enough in order to uh, make a difference. Question two, can Arizona State keep their momentum and energy against the Aztecs? This is a very tough stretch for Arizona State. They played Michigan State last week. Now they have to go on the road to play San Diego State this week. And next week they have to go on the road to play Washington. So you might think Arizona State might be just peeking ahead a little bit to that um, trip to uh, Seattle. Although I do expect Arizona State to be in a very close matchup against SDSU, I do think they will prove their dominance and keep that momentum going. Can San Diego State stop Arizona State's passing game? Now, don't get me wrong. I like San Diego State's secondary. Uh, Tariq Thompson, Parker Baldwin, they're all phenomenal players. I just think if they're going to be on an island too long, they're going to get burned eventually with Nikhil Harry, who is suspected to be you know, an NFL uh, draft pick, maybe first round. Uh, Kyle Williams at wide receiver, he's really good, and quarterback Manny Wilkins. I wanted to point out the uh, coaching pipeline between ASU and SDSU. So Danny Gonzalez was the defensive coordinator and defensive coach for SDSU for the past seven seasons, and then now he's the defensive coordinator for ASU. Tony Gonzalez, he was the cornerbacks coach for SDSU for the past nine seasons, and then now he's the cornerbacks coach for ASU. Al Luganbill coached the Aztecs um, from 89 to 93, and he was the AD in the 80s. He's now the uh, director of player personnel at ASU and uh, Herm Edwards actually graduated and played for the Aztecs and in the 70s 75 and 76 and he was a part of their 10 and 1 season in 76 and now to my favorite segment know your history well I'll take a story from college football history and I'll relate it to the teams that I'm covering this week it's been 40 years since Arizona State joined the Pac-12 at first, Arizona State was reluctant to join. They had won multiple Western Athletic Conference championships, and they had earned major TV time in the Fiesta Bowl. It was believed by the Pac-8 Conference that adding Arizona State would help generate more ticket money for all the conference. Arizona State had a larger stadium than their Northeastern counterparts, and they needed help paying it off. So the representatives from Arizona State thought it would be beneficial to join because of the ties with the Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl was the second highest viewed television program behind the Super Bowl at the time. And if they were in the same conference as USC and UCLA, that they can get recruiting ties into California. Stanford and Washington, they went back on their word and decided not to vote in Arizona and Arizona State into the Pac-8. USC President Jack Hubbard decided to threaten them by withdrawing from the Pac-8 if Stanford and Washington didn't vote to include them into the Pac-8. Stanford and Washington finally came around and they voted to include the two schools, Arizona and Arizona State. And now time for my least favorite segment of the show, predictions. Arizona State is going to make plays through the air just like Stanford did against SDSU. And I think it'll be just too much. And I don't trust a quarterback who's making their first collegiate start. Arizona State is going to win 28 to 17. It'll be close, but then Arizona State will just make too many plays on offense. Gianni Game Day Episode 2 of the 2018 college football season rolls on. San Diego, here I come.
Update Gianni football. It is 14 to 14. Arizona State got on the board first with a pass from Manny Wilkins to Brian Ayuk. It was about a 10 yard touchdown pass. Then at SDSU, they answered back with about a 13 yard rushing touchdown from Jawan Washington. SDSU got burned with a couple pass plays. Like I said, they would. Uh, Manny Wilkins has been doing a great job at uh, distributing the football to Williams and Ayuk and Keel Harry. San Diego State has not been able to stop them um, in the passing game, but they did make a critical fourth down stop um, at their own 10 yard line in the red zone, which propelled the Aztecs to come back and drive down the field with less than two minutes left. I didn't think that their passing game was that good, but Ryan Agnew in that two minute drill did a really fantastic job in making a touchdown. He scored with eight seconds left, a pass to Tim Wilson Jr. to tie it up 14 14 and a half. It's been very competitive. I'm very excited for the second half. It should be a good one.
a success. I can't believe it. What a fantastic game. SDSU comes up with a defensive stop on a Hail Mary to finish it off, to seal it off. And once again, San Diego State defeats a top 25 Pac-12 team at home. Once again, my picks never win. Uh, as far as the uh, keys and questions go, uh, Ryan Agnew did exactly enough to win this game through the air. He had one passing touchdown, I believe, in the second quarter to uh, Wilson Jr., uh, number six. And that was enough. And he completed enough passes, and he didn't make mistakes. And he, I think he had like 100 and, uh, 130 yards, something like that. Arizona State looked like they were going to keep up the momentum against the Aztecs in the first half uh, when they were uh, up 14-7. I thought they were going to keep on rolling and keep on scoring, but the Aztec defense and the Aztec se secondary tightened up, and they had a bend-don't-break mentality. They started rushing Manny Wilkins. Good and for the fun. final key in Isn't question, San Diego State didn't stop Arizona State's passing game. Arizona State still got, I believe, a uh, passing touchdown, and they still got almost like 300 yards passing. They didn't stop them at all, but you know what? They stopped them enough, and they kept them out of the end zone. So congratulations to the Aztecs. I will see you all later in the Coliseum next Friday. We have a short week coming up. So I'll see you on Friday as Washington State takes on USC. Gianni game day has officially ended for this week. Gianni football out. Peace.